Let's talk about digital marketing and what channels drive the best results and what order of which you should invest into these channels so that you see the best ROI over time. So channel number one is the brand channel. You want to invest in brand search ads for your own name. You're never going to see a better return on investment than the dollars you invest in a brand search ad. And the reason is, is because when somebody is going to Google and searching your exact name or a variation of your name to look for you and your brand, the chances of them buying from you or becoming a lead are extremely high. Brands that fail at this are really ones that kind of bank on their organic ranking. They want to rank high for their own name organically. And so when they get there, they don't want to invest in brand search ads because they feel like they're already on page one for their own name organically. The problem there is, is there's so many different variations of how somebody searches your name. They could search your name reviews, your name product, your name spelled wrong. Um, should I work with your name? There's so many different ways to search for your name. You're probably not ranking for all of those. So you're missing out on search traffic when people are trying to find you. The other thing is the brand search ads right at the top of the page. You can control what it says. You can control where it takes the clicker and ultimately have a higher conversion. And so even though you have to pay a little bit of money to basically rank higher for your own name, it's well worth it because those clicks become sales at a very high rate and you have a huge return on investment. The second best channel to invest in digitally is retargeting. Retargeting is very important because as somebody looks at your site, they research your brand, they see you on social media, that type of a thing, they don't always become a lead or call you or buy from you right away. They're thinking about it, they're in research mode, maybe they got interrupted, they just didn't finish the checkout process. Whatever it might be, they leave and they go about their day, basically. And so retargeting keeps you in front of them. So as they go to Instagram and Facebook and LinkedIn and you know check the weather and what movies are playing this weekend and all these things, they're seeing your ads follow them around everywhere they go. And that keeps you top of mind. So when they are ready to buy, they think of you first and you get the sale. The beauty of retargeting is it's very low cost. Uh, the list grows over time. So as you have more visitors to your site, as an example, your retargeting list continues to increase, which is more people seeing your brand out there every day. It's renting space in their mind. And to capture market share, you first have to capture mind share and retargeting helps you do that. It's well worth the investment. It's a low cost per click, but a very high return on investment. Once you've invested in brand search ads and retargeting, those are kind of like the basics. You never want to stop doing those things. You really want to hit the gas pedal on the things that move the needle. And the number one channel for that is inbound search ads. When somebody searches the keywords related to the products and services that you sell, you want to be on top. There's no better traffic than inbound traffic because somebody that's specifically searching for the types of things that you do and you sell, you want to be there because the chance of them buying is extremely high. They are in a buying intent. They are looking to make a decision and make a purchase at the very minute they're searching. So you want to pay to be there. Now you can be there with Google search right at the top of the page. There's Google local service ads. If you have a business that has a product or service that fits within a Google local service ad category, definitely recommend you invest in that. There's maps ads. You can pay to be on top of the maps, perfect for a local business. And if you're an e-commerce business, you can run shopping ads. All of those ads trigger at the moment somebody searches in your specific area where you're running the ads. And so you want to be there every day. You're not on top. When somebody is looking for the products or services that you sell, you're losing sales and you're losing them to your competitor. So if you want to beat your competitor, you want to invest in being on top, pay the money. It's worth it because ultimately you're going to see a huge return if you offer great service and ultimately you're able to resell these customers, capture additional sales in the future, lifetime value increases, all that because you capture that customer initially. You want to acquire the customer and the best place to be is inbound. All right, after inbound marketing, let's say that you still have money to invest. You have fully saturated the inbound. So you're always on top every time somebody looks for you on an inbound search and you still want to grow your business and you still have money to invest. At this point, it's a perfect time to pivot to a targeted outbound strategy. Outbound would be investing on Facebook ads, Instagram ads, YouTube ads, 
uh, any type of outbound strategy. It could even be digital billboards on the highway in your local area. It could be digital TV. These are all outbound strategies. Outbound just means that you're running advertising to a audience of people that may be interested in your products or services if they see an ad about it. So it's not as good as inbound because inbound is when somebody really wants your product or service right now and you're in front of them. Outbound is where they might want your product or service so you get out in front of them, start building your brand awareness that way with social media ads and other outbound strategies. So that's a great thing to layer in, but only after you fully saturated and optimized the inbound so that you're getting a good return there. Now you layer this on, which builds additional trust and credibility and ultimately will help you grow your brand even further. So that's it. Hopefully this was helpful talking about digital marketing and the channels that you can invest in and the order of which you should invest in them to see the best return. If you like the video, like it, share it with your friends and leave some comments for other ideas and tips that you might have. We'd love to see it. Happy marketing.